Hi. Um, I want to show you how to use UMD DAX Dumper on your PSP. So first of all, plug in your PSP to your computer, and make sure that you're on USB mode. So my PSP right there, and so this right here should come up. So what you do is <coughs> you go open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. You open up the files and there should be if you already have it, there should be three files. There should be PSP, the M er, MP root, and ISO. If you don't have ISO, then you just make your own folder. But now, there's a link to the side of this video. <coughs> so you open up the link, and the sure should what be care is what should come up. So download the file, save it to your desktop. I already did. Save some time. And this right here should be what the folder looks like. Open that up. Extract them all to your desktop. I've already done that. And what you do is you you don't need the README and the French README, so you can just delete those. You can delete the UMD DAX dumper now, like the uh, WinRAR file. So you go to your PSP home root thing, click PSP, click Game 150, and I already have mine in it, so that's. Anyways, yeah, so I got already got mine uh, on it, so so now so after that, just um, uh, unplug your PSB from the USB cord and uh, what's it called plug yours into the power outlet so it's out of USB mode, then go to game down and there should be UMD DAX dumper. Now this right here is the game I'm gonna be doing. It's ATV off road fury blazing trails. So just put it in before you start the program. start the program and there's no certain memory card that you need for this but the one that works best is the um, is the scan disk ones so when you get to it there should be a it'll tell you on the top right there how much or how many megabytes it is it'll say dump to and you want to dump or dump it to your ISO file that we made earlier and formax, er, for format, don't do DAX. Make sure it's at ISO or CSO, whichever one you want. And then compression level should be on 9 already. Split size should be no split. And you just press start. This is going to take a little while, so I'm going to stop the video right now, and I'll play it back when... So now when it's done, it'll say... It'll ask you if you want to dump another UMD. If you do, insert one and press X. Or if you don't, just press home. In that case, I'm just going to press home. So, I pressed home. <laughs> Bring it back to your main menu thing. Now, fully turn off your PSP. And go into recovery mode. Now go to configuration and go down to um where is it? Uh UMD mode 
and it'll say currently and it should say um where is it just say normal and it'll say UMD required switch it to M33 driver no UMD go back up to back press X go down and what this will do is uh, you don't it'll uh, make it so that you don't need a UMD to run the game like you don't need it one to run the game it's just that uh, you need to kind of like trick the PSP I guess but now I'm going to take it out take the UMD out and I'm going to go to my uh, my uh, game menu and there should be your game that you dumped You start it again. There's the UMD. There's none in here. and it's going to work exactly like the UMD <coughs> it'll do exactly as the UMD But yeah, so, there you go. Hope you enjoyed, and if you had any questions, just email me.